your ass up. Good. Now you ruined this. Good morning. <laughs> Shit, this is the worst one we've had since we've been back. Blame it on Alex, y'all. In the comments right now. Blame it on Alex. Blame it on Alex. I'm the one editing the video. Good morning to the best family on YouTube. You know what? I'm hungry. So a lot of people think that eating healthy, eating what's good for you, eating the right things, is supposed to be boring. It's supposed to be bland. Well, I just went into my favorite restaurant in Long Beach called Amatoli, and I told them exactly what I wanted. Was it on the menu? No, but I asked. You know, I, I, I asked for what I wanted. And what I got, like this, <laughs> like what y'all call boring, like, oh my God, where is this, where is this? I am salivating right now. Wow. So I got meat on meat on meat, on chicken. You go here, you got scrambled eggs cooked in butter with cheese on top and avocado. Now there are some changes here. So for example, this sauce, as good as it looks, I can't use it because I'm sure it has added sugar. Can't use this sauce. All of these things right here that normally I would love for flavoring, not touching. Even these right here, not touching. Tomatoes, not touching. All I will be eating is the meat, and the thing I will especially not be touching is this right here, this bread. But I wish I could, because this place is so good, I know that's probably dank. So yeah, stop telling yourself that eating what's right for you is supposed to be boring, and like it's hard or anything. I don't know who's convinced you of that, but all this meat, how could that be boring? Eggs, avocado, how could that be boring? Like, look, I'll even give you all a shot of my first bite. Y'all, words don't describe it. Well, the words don't describe it. Yo, y'all already know what I did to my plate, but that food was so good, I had to literally ask the chef to come on over. So we have the chef here, Chef Dima is at my table. Well, <laughs> I wanted to do it where I like, yo, I need to speak to the chef. And then when she came, I was going to be like, thank you so much. That was delicious. I'm so happy you enjoyed it. Thank you. So Long Beach, Amatoli, link in the description. Like I'm going to be here like almost every day because I train like really close to here, but I can't get my training techniques. But yeah, this was bomb. And the best part about eating something like I did where I talked about it's not boring food. I just ate all that. I don't feel sluggish. I don't feel bloated. I don't feel full. I feel I feel good, like full in terms of like, oh, I can't eat. Why do we do that to ourselves? We eat so much and then, I need a nap. I need a food coma. I, I ate too much. Da, da, da. I ate everything I needed, probably more than y'all do when you're, and I'm not to put y'all down, but just because so, y'all are gonna start joining my wave anyway. So when I say y'all, I'm talking about the old version of you, but I ate so much, probably more than the unhealthy stuff that you ate combined, but with healthy stuff, and by healthy, I mean like nutritious, and I still, I'm not bottled down at all. Now though, we gotta get our carbs in, and I'll show you how I do that, cause this is the part I'm excited for, and I saved it for dessert. All right, so for dessert, but it's really for my carbs, what I like to do, there's this place in Long Beach, what's this place called? Natural Culture. Natural and it's right next to Amatoli, and I get an out, <laughs> and I get my fruit. The reason I come here is because when you get acai bowls, a lot of the times they put added sugars in it. They pride themselves here in putting no additional sugars. So all the sugars I'm getting are from natural fruit ingredients. So natural acai, natural strawberries, natural blueberries, and natural bananas. And look how good this is and look how filling this is. Granted, this is the only carb source I'll be having all day. Literally after this, I won't be eating anything else. If after my second workout at the gym later, because I already had my first one, I'm craving something, I'll have a chicken breast and maybe an acai. But did you make this? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah. It's delicious. I love it. I already know it's delicious. All right, so now let's go enjoy it. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing makes me happier. It's like, I don't have to think about what to eat each day. 
I know it's gonna hit because everything I get hits. I know I'm gonna feel so good after. I know my body's gonna adapt to it nicely. It's like, why would I do anything else? I was talking to Roman today, my good friend Roman Atwood. I was talking to him about how when I was in the drive-thru for Starbucks this morning, I was craving getting my cold brew with vanilla sweet cream in it. And he responded and he said, he did it in a voice note. He said, yo, you're a fucking beast right now. He goes, your body's a fucking beast. Your mind's a fucking beast. Why put fake shit into your body? Why put that sweet cream that's not even real food and you know processed with fake sugars and all this stuff into your body? He goes, you don't need it. And he's exactly right. I didn't need it. So it's like little reminders like that. Like, yeah, I'll have cravings, but I don't let them win. And even if I did, even if I did let them win, like let's say I did get that vanilla sweet cream bowl bro earlier today, I don't fuck up like that and then say all right i fucked up time to now go get chips pizza this 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 or the other i say i fucked up now it's time to get back on the wagon and that's the difference that's the difference y'all i'm gonna enjoy this acai right now and then i'm gonna take y'all back to the boxing gym because ashton jake paul's newest signee has a fight this saturday and he has his media day today sanctioned by the wbc gonna take y'all there and yeah I'm gonna enjoy this also, I eat now. All right, we're here with the man of the hour. We're here with Ashton getting ready for his media day. Yes, sir, how you doing? I'm good, how you feeling? It's your day. It's our day, it's our day. Hey. I don't like to do it by myself. Yo, this myself. kid is 18 years old. You're talking about the mindset I have at 32? This kid is 18. Like I, like you got, like I need y'all. I'ma say that not to, not even to big you up and get in your head. I'm trying to, I'm inspiring them this year. So I want them to say if he's 18 and he's already walking, talking, acting like a grown ass man, then y'all got no excuses. Especially if you're over 18. He's still in high school and then coming in and putting work like this. Come on, y'all. Let this be a source of inspiration. And if y'all don't know him now, if y'all don't know, you know, who he is or what he is, I guarantee you, how much time you want to give it? Say a year's time? Or? I give it a year. I give, give it a months. year? Every single... Uh, you'll look back to this video and be like, you know him? Oh my God, you know him? Can, can I get a picture? Everyone's going to be, I'm sorry to say it, on his nuts within a year's time, but Support it before it becomes a cool thing to do, y'all. Yes. Don't just support somebody because it's a cool thing to do. Support somebody because, you know, you believe in them, you know where they're going, and you want them to get there. That's the whole point. Don't like false support of like, oh yeah, I want you to do good, but in your head, be watching the fight, I hope you fucking lose it. That's called some hating shit. But I wish you the best, Thank you. always. And like you said, it's our day, and I'm with team Jackrabbit from here to life now. So even when we go to, I can't say where my fight is, but when we go to my fight on August 27th, uh -huh. team Jackrabbit all day, let's go. Let's get it. Let's see your YouTube channel. What? I want to see your YouTube channel. Well, what did you say? It, you want to see my YouTube channel if what? You don't yeah. think I'm Fousey? No. Why? If Fousey was a lot fatter? <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Yo, these kids don't think I'm Fousey because they say Fousey's a lot fatter. Not me. Oh, you think I'm Fousey? You don't? <laughs> show him, show him. Yeah, we got him, yeah! <laughs> Man, the best thing about this whole journey and everything is I'm inspiring the youth again. Remember y'all, remember the impact I had on y'all's lives when you guys were kids? Imagine the impact I could have on these kids' lives. Are you against, going against Jake Paul, huh? No, I am going against somebody. You wanna know who it is? You can't tell anybody though, I'll whisper it in your ear. Don't say anything though, okay? Yeah. Who is it? <laughs> what? Yeah. Is it recording? Yeah. Is it recording? No pop. Uh, hand up my hand and hand up my hand down. Okay. Let go all the way down. Okay. I left the school so
I'm going to beat this boy to the ring. We got a new hot superstar in the world of boxing. Ask me to so remember the name. To all the media watching this, to everyone out there, tune in. This boy's a superstar. He's going to kill this kid. Easy work, team most valuable promotion. That's how we do it. We get knockouts of the year. Ashton's up next. So everyone tune in. High alert. Get your pay per views ready. Show up. Because it's going down. All right, fans, now making his way to the ring. H2O Promotions himself, fighting out of the LBC. Drink your damn water. And you know what? Another reminder, and this is gonna be one of my biggest freaking emphasis this year. Put the damn vapes down. And I'm not gonna be nice about it. I'm not even gonna introduce this topic nicely. If you're watching this video with a vape in your hand, a vape in your pocket, a vape within five feet of you, I'm disappointed in you. Simple as that. Don't don't get mad, don't click off, don't get butt hurt. Oh, oh, you got no problem when a friend offers you alcohol, when a friend offers you junk food, when a friend offers you weed, but when a bro bro who gives a shit about you and your health cares about you and asks you to put the vape down, you get mad? Nah, it's cause I give a shit. Think about that for a second, think about that. Anyways, we going home. It's already gonna be eight o'clock by the time I go home, but this grind doesn't mother effing stop. So although my gym closes at nine, I'm gonna lock myself in my second room. I'm gonna jump rope. I'm gonna do push-ups. I'm gonna do sit-ups. I'm gonna do bodyweight squats, and I'm gonna run. If I don't do it, who's gonna do it? Who gonna stop me? Who gonna stop me? They can't stop me, even if they stop me. Yeah, y'all are gonna start fucking with this energy because you're gonna realize he ain't crazy, he ain't manic, he ain't off his meds, he ain't cocky, he ain't egotistical, but he's fucking confident, he's a fucking wolf, and he believes in himself, and he wants his entire wolf pack to do the same. Y'all's new name is the wolf pack. 